Hey, how's your day? Photoshop's Camera Raw version 16.01 has got a great new feature everybody's talking about that I just love. When trying to make your pictures look pro, I'm going to take this picture of my mom and I'm going to make sure she comes forward and the background is blurred to make this picture look the best it can be. Let's check it out. Okay, we've got this great picture of the mama here. What I want to do is I want to make sure she comes forward, her, the table, and her chair, and that the background is blurred out and to bring mum forward and to, for this picture to look spectacular. So first thing we'll do is we'll copy the layer. Then we'll make it a smart object and go into Camera Raw. Now, once we're into Camera Raw, let's go down to Lens Blur and hit Apply. It'll do its thing, and it'll automatically blur the background for you. Now, we have to do a little bit of work on it, because I want to make sure that the chair is in focus, but the rest is out of focus and blurred a bit. So what we'll do, let's check out the feature, and we'll visualize the depth. So click that. Now, as you can see, everything yellow and then the lighter colors is in focus. And that doesn't include the chair here, which is what I want. So you can go back and forth and kind of change things, slide it back and forth and see what's, what's what. But that's not what I want to do. So let's uncheck that. What we can do is we go down to refine. Now let's zoom in a bit. And in refine, let's hit blur. I'll just take my brush, make it a decent size, and just go over this part here to make sure that it's blurred. Now, what we want to do is I want to take the blur and boost it up just a bit. Now, well, let's go back to visualize. And that's better, much better. So what we'll do now, let's go down to refine and go to focus. Now, I wanna make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna go over the chair and it'll do its thing and it'll grab the chair for me. So it's in focus. Grab a little here and a little here. But you can also see, let's zoom in here, is some of the tops of mom's hair wasn't in there. So let's stay on focus, bring down our brush just a bit, and we'll go just a top, and we'll bring back mom's hair. It's deadly accurate, I love this. Bring it there and there bit on her shoulder, the rest of the chair. Now let's turn visualize depth off and you can see mom's hair is all the way back and the chair is now in focus, exactly how I like it. Let's zoom out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the blur amount 75. Now what you can do also is let's check out the bokeh. Maybe you'd like to throw some of that in there. Here's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Or number five. Today I'm digging number five. That looks so good. Now, let's go to the very top here. And we'll go select background. It'll check it out. Now what we can do, the background is not exactly doing what I'd want it to do. Now let's go up here to the mask. As we can see, the table is not chosen. So we'll hit subtract with a brush and we'll just remove the table from the equation here. So I don't want to alter that. I just want to alter the background. We also want to do that. Let's zoom in to the chair. I don't want to alter the chair that mom's sitting in. So 
with auto mask on, you should be able to grab it. Make your brush a little bit smaller here. And we'll grab the chair leg and everything else. Very cool. Zoom out. Now let's turn Y off. Now what I want to do to make mum pop even more is I'm going to bring down the highlights. And I'm going to bring, normally you'd bring up the shadows, but I want mum to stand out. So let's bring them down and check that out. It just leaps out there. Now, another quick trick. Let's go to color and we'll desaturate the background a bit. And in doing that, because mom is brighter colors, she pops out even more. I'm loving this pick. Now, if a person wants, you can go up to create new mask and go to select people. Now, let's check off everything. You may not want to use it, but it's good to have everything if you want to go back and mess with it later. All right, so what I want to do is the first one is close. So the first thing I'll do, is I'll go to the light here, bring down the highlights, but I want to bring up the shadows, make mom's shirt stand out a bit. Also, I want to go down to curves. I love the green in her shirt, so let's go to green here, and we'll pump it up just a bit. Bit. Oh, that looks good. So there, that takes care of that. The only other thing I want to do is bring out mom's face a bit more. So let's scroll down to facial skin. As you can see, it checks it. And just take down the highlights a bit. But I'm going to bring up the shadows. And mom's face comes alive. I'm going to go to the color and add saturation, probably just about five or so. And mama's looking amazing there. This turned out really well. So hit okay. Now let's check out the picture. Before, after. Before, after. And mama's sticking out there looking real pretty. Very cool stuff. Wow, this turned out really well. The mama looks great in this picture. The background is blurred. She looks like she's coming forward. The colors and everything are just great. I love this new early access feature of lens blur. Try it out, use it. Camera raw is not so scary. If this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe. Yeah, won't break an nail. I'm Don from Photo 911. See ya.